the forgotten town. In the gloaming, where the whispering pines cast shadows like hesitant secrets upon the crumbling asphalt of abandoned roads, Kip Anderson, a journalist of investigative variety, found himself ensnared in the ancient tendrils of a town forsaken. This wasn't mere neglect. This settlement was deliberately obliterated from the parchment of collective memory, woven out of the tapestry of time itself. With its final desperate gasp, the retreating sun bathed the town in a twilight symphony of orange and purple before succumbing to the inescapable void, plunging the entirety of this secluded place into an oppressive and unending night. No luminescence from the cold, distant moon could pierce through this tangible blackness, an all-consuming umbra with the weight and silence of a tomb. With the ink of curiosity flowing through his veins, Kip had dedicated his years to unearthing tales submerged in the depths of despair and the mires of sorrow. Yet this unfolding narrative bore the unfamiliar, unsettling weight of relentless and suffocating dread that whispered through the silence, winding its way into the recesses of his consciousness. As he sauntered with cautious trepidation along the cobblestone streets, worn smooth by time's incessant grinding wheel, the melancholic whispers of the town permeated the atmosphere, curling around the air like spectral tendrils. Each step echoed mournfully, reverberating through the hidden crevices and unseen alleyways. With the descent of the obsidian night, shadows detached from their casters, cavorting and flickering on the periphery of vision, elongating into grotesque caricatures of their former selves, these twisted silhouettes danced with malicious intent, reflecting not the physical forms but the contorted souls of those from whom they peeled away. Upon the worn square, where cobblestones whispered the mournful tales, Kip encountered the hollowed husks of the town's residents. Their eyes, once perhaps bright with the spark of life, now mirrored the abyssal night, haunted chasms devoid of hope or salvation. Mrs. Ellsworth, with her visage lined with the topography of untold grief, spoke first, her voice a rasping symphony of defeat. Bound in chains not wrought of iron, but woven from the unyielding shadows of our own making, we are prisoners in this liminal space between reality and nightmare, she whispered, with the shadows casting a ghastly grin over her frail shoulders, eyes glowing with ominous foreboding. Underneath the symphony of the eternal, soul-crushing night, tales unfolded like the petals of a black rose. Each story was a mournful dirge of the cursed eve that descended upon this forgotten haven, casting it into the depths of an abyss from which there was no redemption. Within the encroaching darkness, shadows whispered with voices woven from silk and poison, uttering secrets meant to be entombed within the catacombs of the soul. These whispers gnawed and nibbled at the fragile sanity of the town's occupants, each individual living not only with their tangible self, but with the manifestation of their darkest fears and most unspeakable sins. A symphony of dread played within the cavern of Kip's chest, the notes twisting and turning with dissonant harmony as his own shadow began to twist and contort into a sinister parody of himself, mirroring the internal tempest with mocking accuracy. Escape beckoned him with the sweet allure of freedom, yet the town's boundaries seemed to dissolve into the night, an impenetrable barrier of absolute darkness. As days indistinguishable from night unfolded within this purgatorial existence, Kip's resolve, once steadfast and unyielding, crumbled under the relentless assault of his own shadow. Nights became a cacophony of whispered fears and insecurities, each word a dagger plunged into the heart of his consciousness. Stumbling upon a tome ancient and worn within the decaying embrace of the town's library, Kip found ink-stained pages whispering of a similar night that once draped its suffocating cloak over a town lost within the annals of history, condemned to relive its darkest moments in an endless loop of night and shadow. Eyes scanning the whispering text, realization dawned upon him with the icy chill of terror. The town's curse was a mirror reflecting the internal strife and battle waged within the souls of its inhabitants, casting them into a twilight of eternal torment and despair. With ink black as the night outside, 
Kip chronicled the tale of the forgotten town, each word a drop of darkness on the parchment. However, with the tale's conclusion, his shadow grinned, mocking, knowing that some tales are destined to remain unheard, obscured within the folds of time and shadow. The forgotten town lives on within the ink and parchment, within each word and whisper, waiting for another soul to stumble upon its tale, casting shadows long and ominous, whispering secrets dark and foreboding under the cloak of a night everlasting and unforgiving. Dare to delve into the unknown with chilling ghost tales. Then subscribe for weekly videos of the eeriest tales and darkest legends now.